What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. This video is actually going to be kind of similar to the last one. In the last video, we talked about overcoming resistance, right? With simply being allowed to feel those feelings that you are feeling. When, you feel, when you're feeling in a negative emotional state, simply saying, it's okay. It's okay to feel how I feel, which paradoxically will then allow you to move past those feelings rather than that state of resistance, what you resist persists oftentimes. So this one is an interesting one. This is a post I came across in the Law of Attraction subreddit. And essentially, this, this affirmation worked wonders for this person. So here, let's get into it. Hello, I've come here to share an experience trying a new affirmation. I saw it here on a post. I would love to thank the person, so please identify yourself because I don't remember the username. Someone commented that if you're having doubts when affirming, you can say something like, even if I have doubts, I trust this is going to happen to me or for me. I always struggle with affirmations when manifesting big things because of the doubts I feel. So I started trying this phrase after affirmations and let me tell you in just four days of trying one uh, of the and trying one of the things I was manifesting already came true and the big manifestation is improving and slowly happening after months of nothing. So thank you so much for the person that commented that. And then there's a person with another link in the comments um talking about a, a YouTube video, but essentially this idea that even if I have doubts, I trust this is still going to happen. That is what I would call, again, it's, it's a blanket affirmation, umbrella, a meta affirmation that is essentially saying that, look, like even though I'm not feeling the best right now, even though I may have my doubts, that doesn't mean that this thing can't happen. Another way of saying that is like, this can be true and this can still be true. I can still be doubtful. I can still be fearful about my goal. I can still think that I can still be uncertain that I'll be able to achieve this and still get what I want. I can, you know, I choose to be, uh, I choose to acknowledge the fact that even when I have my doubts and even when I'm not feeling the best, I'm still, I can still manifest what I want. I can still create what I want in my life. These are all just different ways. You know, it's something that I talk about in the book that I have dropping soon. Declaring and choosing these type, this type of language is also very helpful because it acknowledges that you have the choice. Again, we always have the choice. We're always either reacting, essentially being guided by our external environment, by the people in our environment, by the media, by the news, by the, the external circumstances in the 3D to react and essentially be led around the nose by the 3D or to choose what it is that we believe in. And we can believe that even when everybody else is thinking left, I'm thinking right, right? Or even when everybody else is thinking X, I'm thinking Y. Even when everybody else says that this thing is impossible, even if it seems like it might be unlikely to me, I know that it's still possible. You know, a lot of the times we get caught up in a hypnotic rhythm. Napoleon Hill talks about this in Outwitting the Devil, and it's so true, that this emotion, this hypnotic rhythm, it takes over. We're, we're constantly getting hypnotized by our external environment. This is something that I talk about in the book as well. And it's about re-hypnotizing yourself, essentially brainwashing yourself because you're being brainwashed by propaganda. You're being brainwashed by the news. You're being brainwashed by what's on TV, by what your coworkers are saying at work. It's constantly happening by what your parents said, by what you were taught in school. So either you're allowing them to brainwash you or you're brainwashing yourself with what you want to believe, what you want to think, the way that you want to perceive things. And your perception is reality. There's really no truly objective reality because everybody's creating these reality bubbles and everybody's in their own reality bubble. And that's the type of stuff that Neville Goddard acknowledges when he says that everyone is you pushed out or that uh, Don Miguel Ruiz in The Four Agreements says, literally, he comments on the fact that we're all in our own reality bubbles and everyone has their own. And it's very visible that you can see that people see the same thing, but their perception of it is different. You know, they have those paintings, right? Or those drawings where it's like, it's, it looks like it's an old lady, but then you look at it from a different perspective and it looks like it's a young lady, right? Or something looks like a rabbit, but then it's also a duck. And this is going on all the time. That's why you can have, for example, you know, controversial person, Donald Trump, half people, half the people think that this guy is the worst person ever, just evil. They compare him to Hitler and half the people think that he is an absolute hero that is fighting to protect 
freedoms for the country and that is just, you know, a bastion of courage and hope and freedom. And so how is it that two people can see the same thing and see the completely opposite things, right? Because everybody has, and that's what Scott Adams talks about in his books too. Scott Adams has a, uh, a few different books. He is the creator of the Dilbert comics, but he talks about this as well. And this is just, you see it everywhere, right? That people have, their perception is what's creating reality. And this is proven in quantum physics as well, that the observer is actually connected to what is being observed. And so it's very, very fascinating understanding all this stuff. And I talk about this at length in the book. I talk about the neuroscience, I talk about the quantum physics aspect, all the science that goes into this, as well as how we can practically use this to our advantage to hypnotize ourselves, you know, take back control over this. And um, yeah, essentially engage in basically like, <laughs> yeah, basically hypnotize ourselves to what it, what's going to be helpful and productive to us. So this whole thing, if I have doubts, uh, I trust this can happen for me, is just that meta affirmation that's saying, look, even if all signs are pointing north or pointing south, I can go east or whatever the case, right? It doesn't, you ultimately are the one that makes a decision about what something means in your reality. Two people could see somebody that's, um, looks angry and one of them can say, oh, he's, you know, uh, an angry person and he is uh, unhinged, right? That type of thing. And the other person could say, oh, he's a passionate person that stands up for what he believes in. So there's always this going on. This is always at play and it's always based on the lens through which you're seeing reality. And that lens is constructed through your language. That lens is constructed through what you are instructing your mind with. A lot of people also, you know, we're, we're afraid to give ourselves permission. It comes back to a trust issue because we've been Again, we've been brainwashed. We have been brainwashed ever since being children to go single file, you know, um, only speak when you're spoken to, raise your hand before asking a question, ask permission to go to the bathroom, all in school, right? And it's not to say that all of that is just, you know, obviously there needs to be some structure as we're growing up as children because otherwise children are going to be running amok. But it also doesn't change the fact that we've been programmed with this idea that every single thing we need to seek permission a lot of becoming an adult, a lot of becoming reclaiming authority over our mind, a lot of manifesting is getting rid of this programming, deprogramming ourselves from this permission seeking type, type stuff. Because people that actually achieve things, people that actually get what they want in life are the people that, that go for it, are the people that aren't afraid to do and be and have the thing. The less you ask per, for permission, the more that you tend to get. The more that you have, give yourself permission to have, this is what Vadim Zeeland talks about in Transurfing. The more that you are allowing that positive thing into your life. It's about trusting yourself, you know, and it may be uncomfortable, right? But that is you imposing your will onto reality when you're engaged in any of these practices. And so it comes back to that self-trust, like I trust myself. Sometimes people need to hear that from somebody, from like a, a person that they look up to or a mentor or a coach. And, you know, take this right now that you, you can trust in yourself. You can trust in yourself to take these steps because nobody else is going to do it for you. Nobody's going to save you. Nobody's going to come in and install a new programming for you. You know, you can listen to these videos on my channel. You can listen to uplifting content and that will make an impact. But ultimately, you know, you're the one that has to make the step. You're the one that has to make that decision and that commitment to be who it is that you want to be, to step into that version of yourself, that new, better version of yourself that believes that it's possible, that is able to rise to the occasion, that is able to even do the uncomfortable thing sometimes, even as simple as engaging in this practice, this disciplining of the mind, because that's what it is. It is a disciplining of the mind to begin to think differently, to begin to think new thoughts because your, your hardwiring, your programming has been so long. This Joe Dispenza talks about this all the time. The neural pathways have been gone over so many, so many times. It's like a trench, like a riverbed that those pathways have been gone over like water. You see the, you see the rocks that are weathered by the water. And so now you're, you're, you're diverging the water into this new path and it takes, it takes repetition. It's not going to necessarily happen overnight. Some people have experiences where they it can, or it does, especially when they use other things to accelerate that process, which I'm not going to get into right now, but essentially this is the key. You're rewriting, you're rewriting the programming in your mind. It's like you're installing a new operating system. Like you've got this old outdated operating system 
And just like an iOS update that you get on your iPhone, you now have it, you now are installing a new one. So it's overwriting that program. I mean, it's, it's getting rid of data. Don't, like, yeah, it's, it's overwriting the old, the old programming. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to leave this with, but uh, yeah, you know, essentially guiding your mind. We went over this affirmation and there's just many, there's many ways to do this, right? And that's so I have a lot of the ways outlined in this book that I can't go over into this video. If you're interested in picking up the book, click the link down below in the description. You're going to be added to a list by downloading the ebook on how to get rid of your limiting beliefs. You'll be added to a list where I'm going to be sending a coupon code for half off for the robotic affirmation code book, which is what I've been talking about here. And it's going to give you the formula for ex successful manifestation on autopilot. It's going to give you all the tools and everything that I've learned over the past over a decade in order to do this, in order to do what we're talking about here, reinstall the, the programming. Um, and with that being said, guys, much love as always, you know, drop me a comment down below. Let me know any techniques and affirmations that have worked well for you in terms of this, in terms of these meta affirmations that are simply allowing yourself to still get what you want. Even if you, even if you feel like it may be like you're having doubts, like you're having fears, right? Let me know down below what's worked for you. Be really curious to hear that. And like I said, uh, yeah, hit, the, hit me with a subscribe, download the free ebook below. You'll get put on the list for the new book when it comes out. And I will see you guys in the next video.